Before I get into this video, just remember to follow me on Twitter. People keep telling me I should plug my Twitter more. Uh, so yeah, check that out at Jackson Kruger. The link is in the description. But anyways, uh, back to your regularly scheduled video. Okay, let's talk about Andrew Thomas for a second. He was, you know, big prospect, number four overall pick. We all thought he was going to be amazing. His first season did not exactly go as planned. Uh, he definitely had some missteps, ended up giving up 10 sacks over the course of the season. A lot of those were early on. I did think he improved, though. So let's talk a little bit more about what he did well, what he did not so well, and maybe where he can improve on. I actually think that there is some reason for hope if you watch the tape. So like right here on this one, you see where he is on the screen. Uh, so it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. He's going to be blocking 44. Uh, but what's going to be interesting about this is kind of the way that 44 for Arizona is going to, you know, run this play. Right when this play starts, you're going to notice how he starts to go in a little bit. And that gets Thomas moving towards the left side of the screen, which is a good move because one of the things I loved about Thomas, you know, going into the draft was how well he did at getting to the outside. His lateral movement was so impressive. But watch how 44 is able to get to the outside like that because he kind of just juked Andrew Thomas out. And, you know, Thomas did a good job falling on the loose football after he gave up, you know, pressure that helped result in a sack. It wasn't just him. It was another uh, player that came over. But nevertheless, not a great play from Thomas. And the real reason it was, you know, he messed up was he kind of moved to the inside. And it looked like he was, you know, maybe thinking that 44 wasn't even going to rush. I'm not sure exactly what the issue was there, but either way, he got fooled a little bit and wasn't able to come back, and I think that's a good example of a lot of what went wrong with Thomas was he would get fooled. That's kind of later on in the season. You know, I talked about his, I made a whole video in the middle of the season talking about how things have gone. Uh, later on in the season, this was a, key, a clear uh, issue with Thomas. And like there's stuff like this. This is another good example where what's going to happen on this one is there's going to be a stunt on the left side of the screen. So what that means is that the interior defensive lineman is going to be the one who actually sort of runs into Thomas. And then you have another, you know, you have the edge rusher. He runs around. The guard's supposed to pick him up. So for the Giants, what you do is you want Thomas to end up picking up the interior defensive lineman. And as you see, he is going to kind of do that, but it takes him a minute. You know, uh, he was definitely in trouble for a second. Does have the strength to, you know, get out of it, which is promising because, again, he is a great athlete. There's no denying that. But he did, you know, he noticed it a little bit later than maybe you would have liked. If he's a veteran, he would have picked up on it sooner. And to me, that's not a horrible thing because these are rookie mistakes. And I'm okay with a rookie making rookie mistakes, especially when, you know, the Giants won six games last year. Uh, if he was great, they wouldn't have won 10 and gone to the Super Bowl. So the fact that, you know... Andrew Thomas sort of get the mistakes out of the way early, I guess is what I would say. Because there were some good too. Uh, like this one's going to be an example of that. Where what's going to happen on this play is, you know, he's on the left side of the screen. He's going up against 94 for Dallas. That is Randy Gregory, who's a really good player. So he's going up against a talented player right now. Uh, that's what he has to, you know, go up against. And so uh, watch what he's going to watch what Gregory is going to try and do and watch how Thomas reacts to it. As you see, when Gregory does get to the outside, like I said, that, uh, you know, outside movement. And then when he gets the, you know, arm length on there and he has the power to make it work, he has that rare combination of, you know, uh, power along with being able to move like that. He's pro He was the best athlete in the draft, and that's why I said the Giants should have drafted him at number four. I was a fan of that move at the time, even if it hasn't worked out ideally up until up until this point. I think a big part of it is the mental side of things. Like this one's another example. Again, one-on-one -on -one against Randy Gregory, and watch what he's going to do. Gregory tries to get to the outside, but again, uh, Thomas has just that great uh, you know, movement. And as long as he's not getting fooled, he did a great job down the stretch. And he did, he was vastly improved as the season went on. He had that misstep in the Cardinals game later in the season. But other than that, he was pretty good. So yeah, kind of a shorter film study, but I really wanted to just, you know, touch on a couple of things and talk about how, long story short, I feel like a lot of his missteps were because of, you know, being a rookie. They were, it was, that was a lot of it. It wasn't all of it. Uh, there's more but that was a big chunk of it, and I say do not give up on Andrew Thomas. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.